Hey guys, it's Miss Babies. Um, I know that right now I'm actually in my tutorial filming location, which is my bathroom. Um, but it's kind of late and all of the light is probably gone, so I figured I would just film in here so I could show you all these swatches. Um, I did a drugstore haul today. I went to Walgreens, which I don't know where they have Walgreens, there aren't any really around me here, but they have a lot in the city. So I got a lot of cool stuff. I heard a lot of good things about the Wet n Wild like trio palettes. And I just went in there to get something actually to drink, and then I was looking at them, and I was really, really excited they had all of them. They had the threes and then they had the singles. They didn't have the six palettes or the eight palettes. And I think the eight palettes are going to be discontinued, I heard, but I don't know. Okay, we'll start with my favorite. Walking on eggshells. I'm going to open these so you guys can see. But there's the brow bone, the crease, and the eyelid. Obviously, you don't have to use them in that way. You can use them in whatever way you want. It's just a guidance, and they have really useful instructions on the back about what each of those things actually mean. Um, and it's really, really cool for beginners. If you are just starting out and you really need some guidance, this is really, really good, I think. I'm saying really a lot. But anyways, to save time, I've swatched them already, and... Silent Treatment and Walking in Eggshells are right here. So that is the brow bone. Let's see, the brow bone, the crease color, and then the eyelid, which is basically, oh, there you go. That's the eyelid color. So the pink, the brown, and then it's sort of like a powdery white. It's really pretty. And I will tell you, oops, that one was... Get on eggshells. Where are you at? Two ninety nine. All of these little palettes are gonna be two ninety nine, so I'm just gonna say it for this one. But yeah, this is definitely my favorite, and I'll probably do a tutorial with one of these, um, maybe tonight or tomorrow. We'll see. But yeah, there's that one. They have excellent pigmentation, and they're only two ninety nine. Like they're the quality of, you know, a lot of higher end um, eyeshadows. Not every single one of them, but they are generally. Really, really outstanding. I was really surprised. The packaging is really the only thing I don't really like. It's really flimsy and kind of hard to get open. Like, I gouged out this one a little bit when I first opened it, but you probably can't see. But you have to be careful because they're kind of difficult. Um, and they come out with these little things, if you're wondering. Just sort of like a brush. There's a... Let's show you this a little bit better. There's a little angled brush which feels soft but probably useless and one of these little you know standard eyeshadow spongy applicators I don't like these I just throw them out but if you do like them they each come with two of them so you have a sort of dusty mauve color a really nice dark brown color and sort of like a maroon purpley color which is really really pretty and this one is called, yeah, Knock on Wood, which I hope I said, or, yeah, Knock on Wood is right here. So you see that dark, okay, that is the brow bone, the crease, and the eyelid. So you can see how dark that one is, which is really, really pretty. I like that one a lot. I might do a tutorial with that one, actually. And then I got Silent Treatment. Let me just take this off so there's no glare. Which has sort of a really nice light pastel pink. Another dark, well this sort of, this crease color is not really a dark brown. It looks almost black brown. And then there's this really nice taupe color, which I really like a lot. And the silent treatment, where you at, is right there. So you see the brow bone, which is really light. The crease and a little eyelid color. I'm just going by what they call them. Um, you can call them whatever you want, but yeah. Next one was cool as a cucumber. Cucumber? Cool as a cucumber, which comes with two greens and a dark purple. This purple looks like an eggplant purple, like it's really a beautiful color. This is coming up like a robin blue. 
but it really is sort of like a mint green, like a pastel mint green. And then there's a dark hunter green color. Um, and that one is over here. So you can see the, um, oops, sorry. This is a weird place to swatch it, I'm realizing. Anyways, that's the brow bone, not that one, right there. Brow bone, crease, and eyelid. Sorry, that's a weird area to swatch, but yeah. That one, I got this one because I'm not really a big color person, but I figured that this would be a good way to start mixing up some colors for you guys so I can start doing tutorials that aren't all like brown smoky eye or something like that. Um, then I got two single eyeshadows, which are really pretty, and these retail for... $249. So they're actually not that much cheaper in comparison to the three. So if you're gonna spring for one, I would definitely say get the three, the tri palette, whatever, trio palette, because this is $299, whereas this one, oops, this one is $249. So for 50 cents, I think, more, you get a three palette. You get two more eyeshadows essentially for free. Not free, but you get what I mean. So I got Brulee. Now, these were the first ones I actually swatched, the two singles. I got Brulee and Nutty, and when I swatched them, I was really, really surprised and extremely, like, pleased with this brand because, well, with these eyeshadows in particular, they're really, really soft, really creamy, and super pigmented. Um, yes. And this Brulee actually reminds me of MAC Brulee, so if you don't want to spring $15 on eyeshadow, $249 which is a nice bargain. Um, I have heard that if you drop this, the whole eyeshadow will break and shatter. So, be extra careful with these. Um, okay, Brulee is right there. So you can see that swatch right there. It's like a really nice sort of skin tone, pinky color. I would say it's like the color of my eyelid though. Next one is Nutty. This one was, again, did not disappoint me. It was extremely pigmented and a really beautiful color. And so soft to the touch. And that one is right there. So you can see it's, it's a top, a taupe, top, a taupe, which is really, really nice and reflective. These are all sort of really frosty shades, if you guys haven't realized, but I think they're all really beautiful. And it's not like they look, like, glittery. They just look like they have a nice sheen. Then I picked up some lip liners, which I have the swatches for, so I'm not going to really, well, I guess I'll open them up. I got L'Oreal 6 Hour Infallible, no, sorry about that, I got L'Oreal 6 Hour Infallible um, Never Fail Lip Liner in the color Rose. Now this is a twist up cap, so that's what it looks like, and it's just a nice sort of, it is like a rosy move color. And I have that one swatched right there. So that's rose. And then next to it is the next color I'll be showing, which is wine, which is a pencil. And it's a really nice um, pigmented, not really red, it's sort of like a raspberry color. If you guys can see it right there. So that's pretty. And then the next one I got was Oh, that was Maybelline, by the way. That was a Maybelline um, lip liner in 55 wine. And then this one is a Maybelline lip liner in 25 toast. I like that name a lot. Um, and that one is sort of like a nice muted beigey color, beigey pink color. And that one's just good for natural lips. So you see that one right there. And then I picked up a Milani Lip Flash. This is a full coverage lip, no, full coverage shimmer gloss pencil in the color 05 Hot Flash. Um, these are basically like the Chubby Sticks um, by I think Clarins or Clinique. One of them, they came out with Chubby Sticks. Urban Decay just came out with something like this. It's basically lipstick and a, and a lip gloss in a like a really cool stick and they're really pigmented all of them I've heard so if you want to check those out those were where is that well I cannot find it oh that was $7.49 and the L'Oreal Infallible Lip Liner was 
$9.99 and the Maybelline um, lip liners were $6.79 each. And then finally I picked up Milani Liquify Metallic Eyeliner Pencil in the color 02 Silver. So you can see that in the swatch, it's right there. And it's a really nice um, silvery color. I actually have it on my waterline right now, so if you can see that. It's a beautiful pigmented silver. Um, and that was $6.99. So they're all below $10, which is really reasonable. All the eyeshadows were below $3, essentially. Um, everything was really pigmented, and I'm really, really pleased with everything that I got. Um, and considering that when you add them up, it does also add up to a lot of money. But if you were going to get this many eyeshadows anywhere, it would not be this cheap. Um, so definitely check these out if you can. These are not going to be discontinued. You have time to get them. Um, but don't wait too long because I'm sure you'll be really happy with them the same way that I am. But yeah, so thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.